All right, everybody. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use a Google spreadsheet from the very beginning. So this is if you know nothing and you really need help on how to start, this is the first time you're using it. Oh, you know, you've seen it maybe a couple of times. So you really, you know, you missing the basics and you don't know how to ask this tutorial is here for you. Okay, so the first thing is how to access a Google spreadsheet. So if you go to your Gmail, the easiest way for you to do it is from your Gmail account. So you open your Gmail and there's going to be these dots here, which are the Google apps. You click on it and this is going to take you to Google Sheets. So you can get to it from here. And if you want to start a new sheet, you click on blank spreadsheet. And that's how you start a new sheet. So the first thing you want to do, you want to name it. So this here at the top is how you name your spreadsheet. So you just double click on it and you name it my first, my first sheet, for example. <laughs> okay. You choose whatever name you want. Uh, let me close this little helper here because we don't need it at the moment. Okay. Now, the very basics once you have your spreadsheet open. This that I'm clicking here is a cell. Okay, just for naming, you need to know what a cell is. Each one of these um, shapes here are cells. This is a column. So A, B, C, D, etc. Those are called columns. The numbers are called rows one, two, three, four, four four, five, etc. Those are the rows. A um, few more things that you can do here. You can zoom so you can come here at the moment. We are at 100%. But if you wanted to see more, you could put it at 50% or if you want it to be very big, you can put it on 50 or more. OK, so we're going to say at 100% because that's in theory the easiest way to visualize the data. Um, how do you enter data? So you can just move your mouse over the cell and click on it, and then you can start typing. So for example, I'm going to tap here, type good morning. So I tapped the text. I, I, I typed in the text. Now, one thing that is very important for you to know, if you come to a cell that has text and you start typing again, you're going to replace the text that is there already. So say, for example, I made a mistake here and I, I wrote good morning instead of good morning and I want to correct it. If I just if I just click on it and I type, start, it, start typing again, I'm going to type over. You see, this is what happens. The text that I had is gone. So what we have to do here uh, and let me do a control Z here to undo this. What we can do is double click on the cell. So you see now the, the little cursor there is flashing. That means that this cell is active and I can move around on the cell. So I can just come in here and correct the spelling. Good morning. And I'm going to press return or enter in order to move from the cell. Whenever you are in an active cell, uh, there's a couple ways that you can get out of it from the keyboard. If you press return or enter, the selection is going to move down to the next cell. If you press tab, the selection is going to move to the right. So depending on how you're entering the text, if you want to go down the column, you press enter, good morning, good night. And I'm misspelling everything today. Uh, and if you want from here, move right, you just press tab. OK, a um, few things that are really um, important to do here. How do you add a new uh, column or how do you add a new row? So you can click here in the selection. So for example, say I want I had here good morning, good night. But in between, I actually wanted to write good afternoon. So I could just come here, click on C. And then I right click and then I can insert a column to the left 
which means it's going to insert a column to the left of my current selection. So let's insert a column to the left, and here I have space in between. Now I can write good afternoon. Okay. Now another thing, for example, let's put some numbers here, one, two, three. You see that whenever you enter text, text is aligned to the left and numbers are aligned to the right. Okay. So sometimes, uh, this is something that will happen sometimes, you have numbers entered but if you notice that they are aligned to the left the and you're trying to make a, you know, a calculation or something and it's not working, that might be because your spreadsheet is reading the numbers as text. So this is um, a little bit too advanced for what we are doing right now, but just FYI, the text aligns to the left, the numbers align to the right. Now, of course, if you had, for example, good morning, one, two, three, uh, the spreadsheet will consider that as text. So this is still a line to the left. Another thing that is very important when you're using a Google spreadsheet is the sharing options. So this at the moment is private only to me, but if you click on it, you can add other uh, people or groups in here. They will have to be, uh, have access to, 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 you know, to, to Google. So normally they're going to be a Gmail address. Um, and at the moment, this access here is restricted to me, but you can change it. So I could, for example, at the moment, change it like anyone with the link has access. So that means that whoever gets the link from here, from the top, can open the spreadsheet. At the moment, restricted to me means nobody else is able to access um, the, set, the, the spreadsheet. Okay. Um, I think there's a few uh, there's a few things that are very basic on a spreadsheet um, that everybody needs to know, and I think the first one is how do you enter a formula or a function? So we always start with equals the equal sign. So we're gonna do equals, and if you wanna do a function, you need to know the name of the function, right? So for example, here I want to do a sum. You would do equals and you start typing and you will suggest you all of the functions that start with S. I just want to do a sum. And always the way uh, the nomenclature you use is you do equals the name of the function and then you're going to open parentheses. Now what I really like about Google Spreadsheets is that it's going to tell you how to write that function. Okay, so here it's telling you you need sum and you need to do value one comma value two and so on. And if you open it up here with the arrow, it will tell you what this function does. So it's really, really helpful if you if you have a little experience to what you're doing. So here I could do a sum and say 12 and then comma 24 comma 48. And then if I close this and I press, it's already telling you what the result is going to be here. Uh, but if I press, remember, if I press enter or return, I'm going to move this down. If I press tab, I'm going to move to the right, but I'm going to have the result here. Another thing, very basic that you need to know, uh, you see 84 here, but the actual, what's actually in the cell is not the number 84, but the fun the, this function here, which is a sum of 12, 24, 48. So whenever you want to see what's actually on a cell, you can either double click it, so it's going to show you the formula, or you can just click it and you can come here up to the formula uh, bar and it will see what is actually on that cell. Okay, a um, few more things that I think are imp very important and very basic. We talked uh, from here for the, from, the, from the bar where we have all of the things that we can do. We talked about zooming in and zooming out we have here uh, different um, formatting for the numbers, so you could make this into a dollar. So I just I just had the cell selected and I pressed into the uh, dollar sign. So this means that I formatted the cell as a currency. Um, and if I come here, I can decrease. You see, I have two decimal places. So if I click here once, I reduce one decimal place. If I click twice, 
I reduce it by two decimal places. Or I can add them back by click once or twice. You can also format the number as a percentage, uh, which we don't want in this case. We want it formatted as a, a currency, and we want to remove the decimal places because it's cleaner. Here, you are going to choose the font. Uh, the font is exactly what you see here, is the type of uh, how, how is the looks of how things are written. I usually go for Roboto, is my favorite. Uh, it's very simple, very clean. Here, when you see the number, is going to change the size, so you are 10. If you more, you make it bigger. Let's go back to 10. Normally, this is going to be at, uh, you see by default, is at a 10. Uh, but I usually like 12. It's kind of easier to see. You can bold it. You can put an italic in. You can strike through. And you can change the color of the font. Okay, the fill color is the color of the cell, so you could make the cell in green, for example. You can add borders. So say if I select outer borders, the whole thing here got uh, a border got added. Um, what else can we show you here? We can change the alignment. So remember I said by default, the text is aligned to the right, the numbers are aligned, sorry, the text is aligned to the left, the numbers are aligned to the right, but you could actually change this. So you could change the alignment. It doesn't, it's not gonna change the fact that this is a number um, because you are changing that alignment. You can change how it's aligned. Uh, so say for example, I can drag this uh, row to make it bigger. So I can change the alignment here. If I come back to where I was and I can align it for this to be in the middle. Or I can have it at the top. Oopsie, I have the wrong cell selected. That's why it wasn't working. So I have to have the cell selected. And I can align it at the top or I can align it at the bottom. Okay. Um, and then uh, the other things here are a little bit more advanced, so I'm not going to explain them right now. But I think those are the, the basics, understanding, you know, the basic naming of everything, rows, columns, uh, text versus number, how to do basic formatting, what sheets are versus the whole uh, spreadsheet. I actually should have called this my first spreadsheet because the whole document is called a spreadsheet versus uh, the little sheets here at the bottom are called sheets.